According to the Association for Safe International Road Travel, nearly 1.3 million people die in car accidents every year. That's an average of 3,287 deaths a day. An additional 20 to 50 million are injured or disabled. Above half of these crashes occur among the ages of 12 to 44 years. These are many ways to prevent, there are many ways to prevent a car crash, such as driving slowly, not using your cell phone while driving, and keeping both hands on the steering wheel. However, car companies design cars in specific ways to help the passenger from serious injury or death. With the help of seat belts and airbags, material of tires and type of fuel used, and more specifically, crumple zones. The crumple zone in a car is designed to absorb the energy upon impact with another car or wall. More often than not, crumple zones are found at the front of the vehicle, however, they can be found in other parts of the vehicle as well. They work by managing the energy of the crash and absorbing it within the outer parts of the vehicle rather than having the energy transferred straight to the passengers. This is achieved by placing the passengers in what is called a safety cell, meaning that the passenger is surrounded by rigid materials such as reinforced beams and hard and higher strength steel, while the outer parts of the vehicle are controllably weakened. Now the physics behind the use of crumple zones to protect passengers can be split into two different situations. First being if the car collides with the wall, and second being if the car collides with another car. In the case that a vehicle collides with an indestructible wall, the vehicle travels at a specific velocity and ends with a velocity of zero when in contact with the wall. This is defined by Newton's second law of motion, which states force is equal to mass times acceleration. In this situation, the vehicle's acceleration is the velocity minus zero over the time it takes for the, for the vehicle to come to stop. Additionally, Newton's third law defines the situation as it states that for every reaction, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The vehicle exerts a force on the unbreakable wall. However, an equal force is exerted back onto the car. This is what causes the vehicles to crumple when colliding with the wall. However, in the case that a vehicle collides with another vehicle in an idealized and perfect situation where both vehicles are exact mirrors of each other and collide in opposite directions at strictly the same speed, we know that they will both eventually come to rest as their mass is the same. Therefore, the force applied to each other by both vehicles is identical to the force applied in the case of a vehicle colliding with a wall. However, we need to take energy factors into consideration as well. Force is a vector quantity, while kinetic energy is a scalar quantity, calculated with the formula K is equals to 0 0.5 m times V to the power of 2. In both cases where a vehicle collides with a wall or another vehicle, each car has a specific amount of kinetic energy before the collision. And when the vehicle are at, vehicles are at rest, the total kinetic energy is zero. These situations are categorized into what is called inelastic collisions, meaning that the initial kinetic energy is different from the final kinetic energy. This means that the total energy is always sustained while the kinetic energy is not. The kinetic energy that is lost at the instant of the collision has converted to some other form such as heat or sound. In conclusion, the collision of two vehicles is clearly more energetic than that of a collision of a vehicle with a wall. This is simply because when two vehicles collide, the total energy exerted during the collision is doubled as there is two vehicles. However, when one vehicle collides with a wall, there is still a specific amount of kinetic energy, however, clearly not as much as two vehicles colliding. Crumple zones affect and impact our society and economy in many ways, whether positive or negative. It impacts our society in positive uh, and positive, pos it impacts our society positively in several, several ways. More obviously, crumple zones help save lives and prevent serious injury or even death. This is clearly due to the fact of how efficient they are at protecting the passengers within the car. The crumple zone was first invented in 1937 and more developed in 1952. Ever since the invention of crumple zones, death rate of car crashes has decreased dramatically. Of course, this can be with the help of many other factors such as seat belts or smarter driving. However, crumple zones is also a huge factor on saving lives in car crashes. In 1950, there were 33,186 death deaths on US roads. However, in 2014, there were 32,744 deaths. That is not a large difference. However, we have to keep in mind that the fact that the population increased by more than double in the US and considering the fact that the death rate increased by only a thousand while the population doubled, that shows how effective the use of modern technology such as crumple zones to prevent car crashes. For example, crumple zones have played a major role in making Australia's roads a, greater deal, a great deal safer. Since 1975, we've seen, an, we've seen annual road uh, fatalities plunge from... Created using Powtoon.